So guys, to fix this problem, we're going to go into PS3 safe mode. We're going to need an original PS3 controller hooked up to the cable and then hooked up to your PS3. For the first step, you want to make sure that your PS3 is turned off. So you want to turn off your PS3. You want to hold on the power button till it turns off. Keep on holding it till your PS3 turns off. The PS3 is now turned off, as you can see. So now you just want to turn it on again. Okay, so now we're going to hold on the power button. Keep on holding it. Do not let go. Just keep holding it. Keep holding it till it shuts off again. It beeps one time. Just keep holding it. Until it shuts off again. And the light has now turned off again. So now we're going to hold on the power button again until it beeps four times. It's going to beep once, beep once again, and then beep twice. That's going to be four times and then you let go. So now we're going to hold on the power button again. There's one beep. It's going to beep again. Keep holding. That's two beeps. Another two beeps. That's four times. Let go. It's now going to take us into safe mode. I've now connected my PS3 controller to the cable. Now let's turn this on. All right, so now you just want to rebuild database. So you want to go down and then click on rebuild database and this should now fix your problem. In my case, I'm not going to do it because I don't have this problem and my PS3 is working fine. But in your case, to fix this problem, you want to click on rebuild database. So this should now fix your problem. Don't worry, it's not going to reset anything. 